This is Chris. I'm stuck in the elevator. There's been a crime afoot. Yep, this is gonna be a lawsuit. Okay, I think I'll take the stairs after that. Gang bangers will say is La Raza. You're refusing to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, what's your job duty? We're, 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 we're stepping up, ma'am. Did she lock us in here? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. Golly. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Friday the Roundup with Sheriff White A. Moron. Help my channel continue to shrink by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Turn on that notification bell and turn on all the notifications. Consider membership. Take that there like button, like it, dislike it. Take some carrot seeds and spell the word loser in its front lawn. And just a reminder, carrots are very hard to kill with a weed killer. Today's rotund rascal is this guy goes by the name Kevin Soper. Channel name is The Angry Vet. Now this is an older video that I just came across and I found it very amusing. Now this guy is trying to start a nonprofit to help veterans, which is a noble thing, but you kind of got to know what you're doing. It's kind of like trying to hire an 80 year old Szechuan chef to run Dua Lipa's social media accounts. It's not gonna work out. So today we're gonna see him wander into a uh, public defender's office, but not have a clue how that works. It's not a hard concept. So we're gonna watch that. And part two, I'm gonna offer up another serving of Fraud at a Roundup Theater. It's gonna be a parody of what I think it would look like of the angry vet we're showing up late to an orgy. So what do you say? Let's round us up a fraud <sighs> eater. I need to buy a stamp. Um, what do you have? I just need one. Oh, just one stamp? Yeah. So what, 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 what are my options? I only have this one single stamp. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, yeah. Thank you. I like your nails. Thank you. You know, big old hairy dude, stocky like that, with a name like the Angry Vet, you'd expect some kind of deep, booming voice. But every time I hear this guy, I just hear Paul Lind. I love those nails, honey. But with those pumps, I wouldn't even let you into the local Burger King. I've got to go with Paul Lind. All right, true or false, every day, about 10 million American women take the pill. And I can name them all. <laughs> True or false, research indicates that Christopher Columbus liked to wear bloomers and long stockings. No, it's not easy to sign a crew up for six months. <laughs> Say, Paul, Gerald Ford says the truth, truth is the glue that holds governments together. What does he say is the oil that makes governments go? Whatever they fried tacos in. <laughs> no, <that's true. laughs> hey, you have any idea where the public defender's office is? Down the bottom of the hill here on the right. Okay, thank you. Look, this is kind of weird to me. Listen to those footsteps. It sounds like he's either wearing scuba flippers or goose stepping like a damn Nazi. Or maybe he's wearing his fancy tap dancing shoes. Have a listen. Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber alles. Well, sorry I'm taking you along with me for the ride, but I guess we're uh, incorporating a post office audit in with public defender's office visit. Um, I still don't know how to edit. <laughs> Bought a fancy computer, thought it would help. I, I'm so lost with it, it's not even funny. Yeah, I imagine it's kind of difficult for you. 
Kind of like expecting a chimp to be able to put together a whole network of computers in an office. Ah. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good, how are you? Um, I was told to come see the public defender. Okay. Um, not, not quite. quite. Um, I got the case number right there. Well, the number that the police department gave me, anyway. Okay. What's the case number? Uh, 22 dash 3 dash 1492. Um, no, the case number would be letters and numbers. I want well, to look up my name, I guess. Can you do look? Can you look it up by name? What's your last name? S O P E R. Kevin. Date of birth? It's 19. And what kind of case is this? This is trespassing and uh, failure to obey a lawful order and uh, disorderly. All the usual suspects. March 1st, yeah. Yeah, so you need to apply for an attorney? Well, I, I would like to talk to a public defender. So you can't speak to a public defender until you're first certified? What do you mean certified? So you apply through the Court of Commissioner, and then once they process your application, they um, determine your eligibility, and if they say you are eligible for our services, then we will um, connect you to an attorney. What? What? What do you mean? Oh, I have to be eligible. You what? What? Eligible first. What would disqualify somebody from using the public defender? Oh, I think I know what the problem is here. He sees the word public and thinks the word free like public restroom, public park, public library. But can you imagine if you didn't have to qualify for a public defender? Who in their right mind would ever hire an attorney again? I mean, is it me? Is it really that hard to understand? Oh, that's right. I forgot. It could be a variety of things. It could be the amount of him money you make and income if you make over a certain bracket i don't make any money right but there's a lot of variables that the commissioner considers before they determine someone eligible for our services first so you have to apply first and then you can speak to a public defender that's horse shit that's total horse shit so uh, yeah and how long does that process take? Um, once you get the application in with the commissioner, it takes about 24 to 48 hours to process. Okay, I guess. Give me an application, I guess. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Now keep in mind, the Brainiac here is trying to start a nonprofit where he would have veto powers over documents submitted by real attorneys. The only thing is, is that we don't process the application here. You're going to have to bring it to the district courts, which is on 120 East Chesapeake Avenue. Uh, here in Tassin? Yep. Yeah. This is, this, is, this is completely insane. Yeah. Qualify for a public defender. Yes. That, that, this is this is completely ridiculous. Good 
This is the application you need to fill out. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not doing this here. Mm -hmm. no, I will. Uh, I'll handle it. Absolutely. Sir. So. So what? what What if I was pro se and I just needed to talk to a, a, a public defender? If you're pro se, then you don't need an attorney. And secondly, these attorneys don't work for free. Their time is valuable. If you want their services, pay for it. Can you imagine if attorneys had to meet with every jack wagon that just came off the street? They'd never get any work done. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I ain't no fancy big city lawyer, but I can think of a few things off the top of my head why well, that's not a good idea. Can you imagine going in and getting bad advice from an attorney for free? What is the risk reward for the attorney to even meet with you? All you know is you might turn around and sue his ass for giving him bad advice. They will not speak to you until they first certify you. They would literally look to see if you have a certificate, and if you don't have one, they won't speak to you. This is so asinine. Wow. Wow. Can you believe that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, horse shit. This is unbelievable. Qualify for a f free attorney. You gotta qualify for free representation. And there he goes, the elusive Vet Squatch. Wow. Oh, Vet Squatch, what adventures wow. are in your future? Well, I can think of one. And now, Florida Roundup presents Florida Roundup Theater. <laughs> Gosh darn it, that stupid GPS. I swear, it couldn't direct the crack pipe up into Joey's face. Well, I'm here now. What is the password? Oh, dag damn it, I can never remember. Um, is it Fidelio? That is not the password. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Let me check. I think I emailed it to myself. Oh, okay. Try, uh, try password two. You may proceed. Please join us. Partake in the pleasures of the flesh. Okay, everybody, I know I'm late. I know I was supposed to bring an appetizer. I bought my famous mango chutney. Okay, yes, I know you would have eaten your entrees by now. But who says you can't have an appetizer afterward? Are you going to call the dinner police on me? If you feel that strongly about it, just leave me a bad review on Yelp. Oh, what's that? Oh, come on, that's just a hair. Come on, your highness. Your hands are about to be in eight assholes in about an hour, and you're complaining about one hair. Okay, I think I'm going to freshen up before I go in. Where's the restroom? Okay, over here. Knock, knock. <laughs> Oh, sweet, sassy, molassy, Regan, light a match. Okay, what room is this? Smooth gum and pitchfork room. Who's in here? Oh, hi there. It's a Nick Owlitz. Come here to take off my overalls. They're stuck in the back. There's two things that I'm always getting stuck. One is my truck, one is my overalls. Oh dear God, I gotta get out of here. Smells like skunk and patchouli oil. Oh, don't leave me like this. Don't do me dirty. Help Eagle Nick out it. 
Dear Lord, I guess that explains why I saw that roadkill on the buffet. Wait, who's up there in the break room? Oh dear, Taco Terry, why are you here playing video games? Oh, are you kidding me? Somebody knocked earlier and you couldn't go, and you had to hold it until now? You've always got an excuse when you come to one of these. Okay, so where are we now? Um, Oh, here it is, the VIP room. Let's go inside. Okay, I'm glad you didn't start without me. Let's go. Oh, hey there, it's the J-Town Press. Hello there, Lana. Why, sure, I'll hold your rope. Wait, what's that? Oh, never mind. I guess I just never noticed that there was a wet bar in here. All right, everybody, let's get started. And remember, it's my turn to be the masochist this time. Well, I can tell by that sundial, it's time to say goodnight. Little beans on the fire. Little Manhattan on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Anyway, goodnight. I bid you adieu.